Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Davis versus Lemos recap as Keyshawn Davis took on Gustavo Lemos in a lightweight contest that took place on Friday, November 8th in the main event of an ESPN card. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, excuse me. So first, um, yeah, Gustavo Lemos came in, um, came in overweight by six pounds. That's a lot, you know, um, a little, you know, not surprising because Davis was forcing Lemos down to 135 after Lemos had, um, <clears throat> fight. I think it was either his last two or his last fight at 140. But this is a straight, if you agree to a weight and you miss by six pounds, I mean, two or three pounds is disrespectful. Six pounds is fucking ridiculous. Um, but, you know, Davis went forward with the fight and, man, um, it didn't work out for him. He fucking destroyed Gustavo Limos. Three hard knockdowns and um, finished him in two rounds as he remains undefeated and pushes forward now towards... Um, towards a world title at 135 so i mean gustavo limos what a drop off i mean he had a great performance in april and a fight that a lot of people thought he won against richardson hitchens that you know kept him still you know as a as a contender as a threat he agrees to move down to 135 for davis he misses weight by a mile and then gets fucking destroyed so what a drop off for him he posed no threat to Davis. Davis dominated him. And now Keyshawn Davis, I mean, I, you know, his previous best win was his sixth round TKO of Jose Pedraza. But I was critical of that because Pedraza hadn't fought at 135 in, um, in years. And Pedraza came down to 135 to fight him. Well, this one I'm not critical on because Davis, um, yes, he was originally planning on bringing him down. But, De but Lemos missed by a mile and um, still got the shit beat out of him. So, you know, um, this one, I give Davis all the props. What a victory. What a knockout. And now he's really a serious player at 135. So, you know, it's funny beforehand, he was like on the verge of getting a what's next video or... Um, or my is on videos, our breakdown videos. Now he's a player. He's a, he has proved that he's a player at 135, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. So big win for Keyshawn Davis. Tough loss for Gustavo Limos. Next week I'll be doing a what's next video for sure on Keyshawn Davis, but Gustavo Limos will drop out of my top 10 at 140 because of this loss. And uh, that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next. Or that's my. Um, Davis versus Lemos ESPN recap as they fought on November 8th in a lightweight contest. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.